it's going to be a while before all the workers at the Kona Village Resort know if they'll get their jobs back. Yeah, the tsunami hit the resort hard, and now the one's pristine getaway looks like a nightmare. Well, unfortunately, it seems like we took the brunt of the tsunami wave. The Kona Village Resort sits on 82 acres, stretching along the hardest hit area in the state, the Kona Coast. And it shows. The force of the wave trashed more than a dozen of the Polynesian-style bungalows or hales. CEO Patrick Fitzgerald says the water pushed some up to 40 feet back. So I would imagine that the wave came in, basically picked up the building and moved it uh, to a place where it either was stopped by a tree or just basically settled down. And the furniture inside and from the restaurant near the ocean scattered some hundreds of yards away. Fitzgerald says by midnight they evacuated all of the resort's 128 guests and also staff. By daybreak, a select few returned to find the Hawaiian fishing village turned resort torn apart. They have all since left, says Fitzgerald, the entire staff with no guests and nothing to do laid off. Right now, they, we just told them not to come into work. We'll probably be having a meeting, uh, an all-staff meeting sometime at the end of this week uh, to update on what, what is going on, any uh, update as far as status of the resort and, and the opening it would occur. Uh, but until that time, um, you know, we basically don't know. Right now, they have building specialists and other analysts at the site. Fitzgerald says the resort's restaurants also suffered significant damage. He can't say when his laid-off employees might get their jobs back. The Four Seasons, however, which has the same owner, will reopen for sure on April 30th.